Hey, thanks for joining me today at Meeting Place. I'm excited to share with you God's Word. You know, in the times we're living in, there's a lot of different voices. There's a lot of different opinions coming from a lot of different streams. You've got the media, you've got the political side, you've got the, the state and local side of things. You've got grandma so-and-so and, and aunt and uncle this person and, and mom and dad this person and brother and sister this person, niece and nephew. There's a lot of different voices. And if we're not careful, we can not only get overwhelmed with these voices, but we'll end up leaning more on the opinions of man and what the popular vote is than we will listening to the voice of God. And that's what I want to encourage you with today. We have to lean into Jesus and hear what he's saying for us in this season. We can no longer be satisfied with just going through the motions. We can no longer be satisfied with just doing what everyone else says and hoping that it's the best response. We have to lean into what God's doing, lean into what God's saying, and partner with what He's saying. So what I'd like to do is I want to turn over to 1 John chapter 2, and I'm going to read verse 26 and 27. And um, then I want to pull out some nuggets here. So it says, I've been writing these things about those who are attempting to lead you astray. But the wonderful anointing that you have received from God is much greater than the deception that's out there. And that anointing lives in you. There's no need for anyone to keep teaching you their opinions. His anointing teaches you all that you need to know for it will lead you into truth it is not counterfeit. So just as the anointing has taught you, remain in him. So listen, this is John here and he says, you do not need, you do not need to continue to listen to the opinions of man or the teachings of man and his opinions. You don't need to worry about that because you have the anointing. You have been anointed. You have been set apart. I have smeared you with the Holy Spirit. In this passage, the Holy Spirit and anointing are synonymous. And so in other words, God's saying through his apostle John here, he's saying, I've given you the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to teach you everything you need to know. He's going to speak to you. He's going to guide you. He's going to direct you. Not only will he direct you, but he is the comforter and he is the paraclete, the one who comes alongside. And so when we feel lonely, when we feel distraught, when we feel distressed, when we don't know which way to go, the Holy Spirit is there for such a time as this. Why? Because if we're not careful, these teachings of man and the opinions of man and everything we're hearing from the fake news and media, all these things, what they will do is they will point us in the wrong direction and we will be deceived. John says this, he says, do not be led into deception, but allow the anointing to teach you. Why? Because the Lord foretold it through him, the things that were to happen. If you read this whole passage, it goes, it leads right into Revelation. And John, even in this very chapter, is talking about the end of the age and the last hour. God is speaking through the word, and I believe this is a now word through the scripture for us, is that we cannot listen to every other voice around us or else we'll be deceived. We must listen to the Holy Spirit. We must ask him to fine tune our ears so that we can recognize his voice, walk out in power, walk out in obedience, walk out in boldness and do what he wants us to do in this hour that his plans and purposes might be fulfilled in the earth. My friends, that's my encouragement to you today. And before I let you go, I want to pray for you, Lord. I pray that every single person watching and every single person listening, that you would fine tune their ears to your voice, that they would recognize when you're speaking, that they would be obedient to what you're saying. Lord, help us to steward your voice well, even if we need to write down what you're saying so that we don't forget it. Help us to steward, help us to walk out and do what you've called us to do in this hour. Tune our ears to your voice in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you. God bless you. Listen to the Holy Spirit. And I'll see you next time at Meeting Place.